New Berlin Eisenhower comes in looking to earn a share of the Woodland West Conference Championship. New Berlin West came in 19 and two overall and would clinch the league title outright with a victory. West made some nice passes, like this one from Morgan Henricks to Skyler Behrens on the backdoor cut. A few trips later, it's Henricks to Evelina Schloman, Vikings up 10-4, Schloman would score a team high 17. Eisenhower's number 22, Jasmine Samarsing, sets the pick at the top of the key, and Julia Hintz takes advantage, burying the free ball. More good ball movement for West. Lily Adkisson hits Alyssa Nelson. She'll put it up off the glass and in. Final minute first half, it's Nelson to Lauren Coons. The long two finds nothing but net. West trails by two. Eisenhower runs the clock down. Then Olivia Kennedy uses the ball fake. One dribble, she finds only Twine. Lions up four at the half. During intermission, New Berlin West's 2016 state championship softball team was honored. The championship banner was unveiled to hang proudly in the field house. Eisenhower would extend its lead. Katie Ludwig corrals the rock and scores to make it a nine point advantage. Later, it's Jasmine Samarsing to a cutting Julia Hintz. She'll scoop it up and in. Hintz went nine for 10 from the free throw line and also hit a couple of three pointers. This one from way out on her way to a game high 21. Eisenhower wins 52-42, earning a share of the Woodland West title along with West. It was the eighth straight win for the Lions, giving them plenty of momentum heading into regionals. I think it's going to be huge for us. If anything, it's a confidence builder for us, and I think these kids have a high level of confidence right now. Take their hats off to Ike tonight. They're the better team. They executed better than we did. However, that doesn't take away from the other 21 games we played throughout the season. And I told them I was proud of them afterwards, and I get back at it on Monday because you know, single elimination moving forward. It's always a good matchup. West comes out really strong every time, and we know we have to match their intensity, and everyone on the court has so much energy, and it's just so fun to play with. Now to the Wisconsin Little Ten Conference. First place Beaver Dam came in undefeated on the season to face off with Wisconsin Lutheran Vikings, who were just two games back in second place. For Beaver Dam, a win will sew up a share of a conference title. Vikings off to a quick start. Quincy Miner finds OJ James beyond the arc and hits the long ball. Vikings up seven early. Beaver Dam's Luke Livingston would hit two three-pointers to force the timeout. Wisco up 12-11. Mike Radu off the bench for Bernard Williams adds a spark to the Vikings offense with this nifty drive. Livingston down low splits the defense and steps toward the basket, hitting two of his game high 23 points. This defensive battle is all tied up at half 22-22. Out of the break just as the game started, Miner would challenge the Beaver defense down low making the running jump shot. Later, Miner finds James with this Aaron Rodgers pass and hits Radu underneath for the easy layup. Very next play, Vikings D gets the steal. James to Williams, up the court, no look pass to Miner for two. Vikings up nine with four minutes left. Garrett Nelson shows his speed flying by the defense, driving to the hoop and making two of his 11 on the night. Vikings would put this one out of reach with Marcellus Duckworth, three from the corner. Vikings hand Beaver Dam their first loss of the year, 58-45. You know, our guys understood our game plan tonight and we executed for a full game. Um, our gap help was awesome. And then when we missed gap help, guys stepped in from the backside to take charges. We didn't look to go one-on-one -on -one more. We, we looked more to play as a team and move the ball around. If all of us continue to um, bond and like chip in each there and there, we end up winning and just we, we end up pulling the 